Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be going deeper into this Area 3. Assist can make even the toughest MC less scary. Battle? Sure. Does that mean your card is like, or your capsules are easily able to assist you? So we finally make it to a, dino or a wasteland area and I lost my Urubi, that's a shame. But, I still have some really great car or capsules, nonetheless, so... It do not matter. Expert is level 8. I do need to level it up. Wolf is already level 9. And Joey is just showing me he's useless. Like, look at those stats. He's garbage. He is so garbage. I've been wasting time training him. But, I've never been afraid to waste time. In fact, that's most of what my channel is, is just... Like, I'm not saying I'm wasting your guys' time, I'm saying, like, we're kind of just chilling here. We're not really accomplishing anything, we're just enjoying life, and that's, that's what this channel's about. Enjoying your life. Okay, so before those guys can tr even attempt to do an assist job, I'm not gonna let them. And that guy walked into his death, that was a huge misfire. If you move the one on the other side, I would have called it a good play. Yep, 100% chance, 37 will do, 45 damage will definitely destroy you. Yeah, we were just talking about assists, weren't we, kid? See, that's the one you should have moved. I mean, granted, I'm still gonna hit you, it's just, you know, you'll be able to hit me back. Big insect, go ahead, 83% chance. That'll do. 33 damage is quite massive. What else do you got? Oh, waste of your... Okay, well, shit. I praised you for no reason. Now, if I do this and I miss, we're in trouble. But as long as I don't miss, we're gonna get a kill and pretty much destroy the other one. Yep. Death. And death. Yeah. It's like, no, he lived. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. He's dead. He moves forward to hit me and then he dies for it. He didn't even attack me because he knew the fight was over. Armosaurus, do your job. Show them what true assist can do. So, we got assist, we got a freaking field bonus, which I'm not used to getting on Armosaurus, but feels good. And a 71's a terrible roll, but we had a 100% chance of hitting, so there we go. You win. Each monster gains experience. Hooray! Uh, what are these? It's a row of poker games. Oh, I'd love to play a little poker. A little video poker could be fun. Yeah, no mo no real money involved. That's what I like to see. With magic skills, you can even beat higher level MCs. The hell's a magic skill? Now, now we're entering territory of stuff I don't understand. What the hell's a magic skill? Big insect, ignore the forest. You don't need it. You do not need it. Axe Raider, just stay in the corner. And Joey, you know you have to stay in the other corner. Right. Awful lot of great paws all of a sudden. We went from that one fight where it was Armor Source just destroying me to Great Paw Central. The only problem with this is that they all lined up in the worst place possible, and now they die for it. Nine percent chance to hit. Do it. There we go. Snake Eyes. Pretty decent roll in this case. Move the one in the corner. Yeah, thank you. I want him closer so I can kill him faster. Now, I will lose my buff, but I don't care just because I get to hit two, and hitting two is what I want. Great call doesn't stand. Oh my god, I almost missed. I was 1% off from missing. I can't believe I almost missed that. That's, that's brutal. Oh, they took some damage that uh, they can take pretty well, actually. That guy's coming to hit me. And, uh, I think I might set up for if he goes after me, I can just hit him back. And he saw me do it. Okay. Oh, well, now that you know what my plan is, the hell are you gonna do with it when I do this? You move forward to hit my guy, you literally get destroyed. Alright, hit him. You didn't even use that time to hit him, so now I'm really disappointed in you. The ant punch buffed by the only forest here. Oh, beautiful damage. Holy crap. That damage was so good. So, Great Paul, left or right? You lose. 
It didn't matter what you chose. Armor source blocks your path and attacks at the same time. Because being able to attack forward is ten times better than being able to attack side to side. Without any forward or backward momentum. There we go. We set you ablaze and we destroy you. The great paws are falling. Everyone seems to have the three great paws. What's going on with that? Game glitched or something? Alright. Oh, shit. Is, is that freaking Damien? Is he here too? Oh, hi, girl. Oh, bo you're a boy. I didn't know that. Did you know that Evo capsules can evolve monsters? I have one of those. I just don't know what monster I can evolve. I haven't really found one. Plus, I haven't looked anything up because I'm kind of enjoying going through this blind. Which is probably stupid. It's probably real dangerous to go through this blind. This game is this game is actually hard. Like they just throw random like I already lost Urabi. Um oh there we go. This is a really hard lineup. So this Funny enough, Tori K, you're you you can not do hit nothing, okay. Funny enough, I want to move Axe to forward. Because if my opponent moves forward into the darkness to hit me, they die for it. Yep. An armor attack doesn't uh, even though I'd love to get an armor attack, it doesn't matter. I still am tanky. And now I take advantage of Axe Raider's two attack to the side. And I gain assist from the Wasteland from my other friend. So even though Armor Source is tanky, this should do a lot of damage. Plus, Axe Raider hits like a truck. Oh yeah, he hits like a goddamn truck. It's just getting him to hit somebody is hard. Tori K is like, well, as long as I don't move, you can't hit me. And he's right, I can't. But what I can do is prepare to hit him. Really, I thought I'd move, got you to move forward if I did that, okay. What if I'm here now? There we go. Alright, at least he's walking into his own death. Granted, I don't get a buff here, but who cares? Death is coming. And the damage is good. 23 damage? I can live with 23 damage. That is a nice amount of damage. Then you move there, and then I kill you. Yep. That seems accurate. This is me getting revenge for that one thing that never happened. We don't... Oh, shit. The 90s are back. Oh, God. Bet you that still would have hit if I was in Wasteland. So, aren't we? yep, Axe Raider, you have to take a hit now. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't want to make you take a hit. Oh, God, it's a crit. But you're fine. You're... Oh, God, that was so much damage. Well, it's fine, because we got an assisted attack this time from Axe Raider. Just ignore the fact that I got critted. It's fine. Just go for him. 94% chance of hitting. If you fumble, I will yell. Okay. 42 damage. Beautiful. You win. Five experience. Okay. Thank you for the five experience. Here you go ahead and save the game again. And let's go take a look around. So you look like Damien Draco. Oh, is this the freaking... Is this pinball? Pachinko? Ah, uh, Pachinko's... Meh. It's, it's a little addicting, but pinball's way more fun. Way more entertaining. You're the other Yugi, right? I know your secret. That's the dark power of the Millennium Puzzle. I swear it, I'll defeat you and then I'll become the true guardian of darkness. Let's go, Yugi. Uh, Damien, you are not written the same in my story, I'll say that for sure. There we go. Maybe because I didn't have to write every single character as a villain of the week, like they did in Season Zero. Season Zero, I bet you that's all they did. It was just Villain of the Weeks. Oh! Wow, that is a lot of those. All these insects out of nowhere. Goki Boar, 38 HP. 38 HP. Entley and Pit, that's new. Oh, shit. That is new. So if I were to get a move, it would have this much range. That is so good. That is so good. Instead of this? I mean, this... The move I already have is good, but that, that move is so much better. Oh, wow, that move is so good. Okay, um... Armorsaurus, move here. And then let's see if they'll come towards us to hit us. No, they will not. They're preparing Armorsaurus. Okay. Well, I could get this guy to move to the side, so they're at least not getting an assist together. This guy... Nope, this guy's just moving back. Okay. Well, Armorsaurus, you're almost prepared. This guy's trying to block your path, but honestly, he hasn't stopped anything from happening. Okay, just wait here. 
We knew that this would happen. Okay, 48. How much does it do? Four damage. This is why I'm fine. Now, the next attack is going to be a big assist, because I'm going to let them hit me with the other guy, too. But, if I can get the damage down now, then it's a guaranteed win. Beautiful. Critical hit. 44. 40. Got them both. Alright, so the other one can hit me too, but even with a buff, they're only doing 4 damage, so... I'm not as scared. Flying Roach Attack, that sounds so funny from Goki Bore. Yeah, 87. I'm afraid that's not gonna work, buddy. I'm afraid it's time for the Flame Attack. Your attack is good, though. The fact that it has so much range, it is a good attack. You're just out oh, two crits in a row. And now, I am I'm starting to feel like my luck is turning around. Two crits in a row feels real good. Damien Draco goes down. Six experience, levels up armor source, four HP, two attack, two defense, two speed. Amazing level up. Amazing. No, I lost. Yeah, exactly. That looks like Mako Tsunami. That guy's dangerous. That guy's really dangerous. Let's go over here. <laughs> Soon I'll be able to face the Dark Master. Alright, well, let's fight, kid, and let's find out if you really will. If I take your stuff, then you can't. It's a law. Yo, you stay over here. Uh, big insects, apparently, where I normally spawn you is good. Axe Raider, go ahead and hold this corner. Oh, it's just a great paw, it's over. All I have to do is move bin a big insect one step forward and the fight's over. <sighs> you you were the one that was almost right. Did you lose all your capsules get winning those battles? Is that why? And you thought you were gonna beat the master with just one great paw? If that's the if that's the oh my god, I almost fumbled there. Wait a minute. Does this guy have cheater stats? Does he have luck? So he's gonna get the first attack now because I missed somehow. I I just needed to roll an 89 or lower. I rolled a 94, almost a fumble. He only does 5 damage, which is actually pretty good damage, all things considered. So let's just attack and let's let's just teach him a lesson. Now, let me show you what I was trying to do last time, but I didn't get the chance to do. There we go. A lot of crits now, making up for- oh my god, 78 damage. A lot of crits making up for what's been happening. Two experience, star chip. Star chips are the most important part. In case I want to try and get new rare monsters, which I kind of do. I don't like, I mean, I like Axe Raider, it's just I don't like how it is. Oh my god, that's definitely Beluga. I don't even need to click on him to know that is Beluga. I'm right, right? That's 100% Beluga right there. Hey, Yugi, I just wanna, I, I take it you wanna see my monsters. They're uniquely powerful, let me show you. Ki -ki -ki. All right, Beluga is here, everybody. Ooh, he likes dark monsters, apparently. Nope, stop doing that game, come on. Uh, Joey, go find a corner to hide him. We don't know what Beluga's capable of. Head sucker, this would be your map, but to be honest, you're too weak now. I think the level difference is just too large. Axro, you might like this map. What? Those exist in this game? Exodia's left arm? Exodia Knuckle? Level 7? Oh, wow, even at level 7, its stats are terrible. Which makes sense, given what it is. Why are those pieces allowed when you can only summon four monsters? If you can only summon four monsters, why are the pieces of Exodia even allowed? I'm guessing they have... Yeah, that's pretty good. Axe Raider, though, loves this area, so it'll work out. Even if I let him get a hit on me. Oh, nope, he doesn't want it. He's trying to ta Oh, he's trying to get the tag team attack on me, but he might not survive. Spin Slice is really powerful, after all, with a field bonus. 92% chance to hit. I swear if I see a 9, I'm going to get pissed. Okay, we're good. 34, just enough. Barely enough. Okay, so the arm is a little tankier than I thought. And you're unwilling to move. Well, I am willing to move. I don't care if I lose my buff. I'm, de I'm definitely fast enough to hit you. 84% chance. 28, there we go. 31 damage. Yep, you're just tanky enough. Right arm is staying standing. I did not realize you had such busted pieces, or that these pieces would exist in a game where you can't summon five monsters. This is strange. Like, I get it, Duels of the Roses, you could summon five monsters, makes sense. 
Um, False Bound Kingdom? Actually, no, that one doesn't have it. Uh, that makes sense. That doesn't have it. Capsule Monster Coliseum? It has it. You could summon five. It makes sense. My monster's lost. Dude, I, 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 where'd you even get those? Alright, so there's where the door is. We're not ready for that. <sighs> Do I really want to fight Mako? He's so strong. Last floor I was on, he just wiped one of my guys. Oh, it's Bones! Sorry, he looked like Mako. Hey, my buddy Bones! Hey, punk, let's battle. Whip out your MC. Oh, I'll whip it out for you. Get ready, Bones. Okay, I love my buddy. Wait, Yugi! Or I, I was kidding, I can't beat you. What's wrong? Even a third-rate duelist wouldn't wimp out. What? I can't believe you would say that, Yugi. Fine, but I get to pick the field that we play on. Unless you're chicken. Heh, <laughs> fine by me. It's gonna be all dark, isn't it? Oh, no, it's Wasteland. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. Dinosaurs... Dinosaurs and freaking uh, zombies like the Wasteland. Well, I'm a little excited. This is my buddy. I'm a big fan of Bones. I don't know if any of you have noticed. But he is a pal of mine. He is a PC. Pal of Cooper. Uh, let's go with Big Insect. I'm not gonna. Tr I'm not gonna not show off my best cards against him. Yeah, I think Wolf is better. Let's let's use our best. <gasps> he got the whole crew. He's got freaking armored zombie. He's got clown zombie. He's got dragon zombie, which is very scary in my opinion. And he's got Pumpkin, which is the only one with good defense level 7. Holy cow. So this has 15 attack. Oh my god, 16 attack. And then either 13 or 15, 14. 13 attack, it's perfect. It's just like the cards. What do you do, Spirit Plasma? Oh my god. I'm already in range technically. That sucks. All he has to do is move one forward. But I want him to move one forward. So that's horrifying that this thing can hit me. I should probably move you back so I don't lose two guys by his attack. But I want him to move Pumpkin forward. That is the goal. Uh-oh. He's setting up for a different fight. Alright. What, what kind of attack do you have? Oh, it's Irby's attack. That's fine. That's completely fine. Oh, you have Headsucker's attack. And what about you, Clown Zombie? I don't know whose attack that is. You just have a good attack. Okay. Uh, big insect, get ready to take out the weaker zombies. We gotta get- we're gonna get ready for him. Okay. Yes! He's going after armor so- he didn't attack for some reason. I love you, Bones. You're my buddy, you know that? I'm not gonna be nice to you, though. I'm going after your boss. I'm really scared of your freaking card. 90% chance to hit the pumpkin, but it's so tanky. 69. <laughs> Holy crap, he did not care. He did not care. Alright, he's not in range to hit me, but he's about to be. And he'll be in the wasteland if I let it be if I let him. Ooh, I gotta be real careful. Oh, he can't hit me because of the movement he made. Oh, he could have hit me before, that's what I meant. This guy's great. Pumpkin is great. I hope I one day get one. Uh this guy, he's like, hey, what do you what would you rather do? Get hit by me or my pumpkin? The truth is, I don't care if you hit my big insect. You are weak as hell, bro. This thing is not. Your pumpkin is insanely scary. I am so happy they gave Bones all of his actual cards. That is awesome. Whoever made this game, good job. Good job. You get the Cooper Seal of Approval, even though some of the stuff in this game is bullshit. I don't care. Cooper Seal of Approval. You, tra you treated Bones with respect. You treat Bones with, with respect, it's like treating me with respect. Alright, we're just gonna keep doing flame, because Pumpkin is not dying anytime soon. He's just, he's just taking the hits like they're nothing. 60 will have to do. There we go. It took a long time, but the pumpkin finally fell. So, you're gonna position yourself on Big Insect now? No, you're running for your life. Yeah, I'd run too. Armorsaurus is coming, so I'd run too. Here he comes. I could have attacked the Big Insect, but I'm not trying to get myself hit by all these cards. Okay, so this is the plan. We are going to move into the wasteland, trying to drag this guy forward. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I was not expecting that. I will admit. So this should drag him forward, because now I'm in range. No, not that one. Oh, crap. I was not expecting breath. So this is his strongest attack now that Pumpkin is dead. And it missed. Unlucky. Even with the buff, it missed. That's a shame. 
Uh, you're fine where you are, armor source. We're just gonna stand here. We might get hit by dragon, I mean, armored zombie, but it's weaker than dragon zombie, so I'm not that worried. A 10, sure. Damn. Damn, got to see some really cool cards today. Really cool capsules that I wish I owned. All right, Dragon Zombie will continue its attack. It's honestly try looking like it's going for an assist. It looks like it's going for an assist from Armored Zombie, so I better move back so that Armored Zombie assist doesn't happen. All right, Dragon Zombie, let's get rid of you once and for all. And now, Armored Zombie should move one forward to hit my Armorsaurus. Yes, okay. This works. We're dragging him out of the wasteland because I'm going to start running. And if he chases me, he dies. Oh, well, that was unlucky. I feel bad for my buddy. He's been so nice to me. Okay, I'm going after Clown Zombie now. So Clown Zombie has a choice. Move forward and attack me or move him to the side. Weird. I got you out of the wasteland, but that means your attacks are terrible now. Yeah, exactly. You just, you just can't hit me anymore. So now all I have to do is move one to the side, and I got you. Alright, Armored Zombie, I'm sorry. My battle with Bones has been legendary, but I must take him down. Now you can come hit Armorsaurus. Now this is the weakest out of all the zombies. It has something called Zombie Dance. 65. Ooh, it actually got me. Four damage, you monster. Not bad, Bones, not bad. But let me show you something I can do. Alright, I don't need the I don't need the field buff. I think Clown Zombie has a good attack, I just think that it's a little too weak. Yeah. You win. 24 exp Oh my god, I need to grind you. I need to grind off of you like crazy. Oh, you have a boss. Just wait, boss will avenge me one day. Alright guys, that was a lot of fun. We found a character we can grind on. My buddy Bones, just like in Sacred Cards. He is the perfect grind opponent and I am all for it. I will see you all next time when the grind truly begins. Bye bye